What's up, YouTube? Got my high value trade binder here. Um, please check out the description below for my entire wants list. Uh, really, after one more Tarmogoyf, I'm trying to finish uh, putting together this Shardless Bug deck for the Legacy Grand Prix in DC, which is uh, mid November. So uh, please check that out. If there's a bunch of stuff in here, I will. I'm willing to overtrade to get uh, Tarmogoyf. Um, then I'm also looking to pick up two more Tundras because that will complete my set of 40 Revised Dual Lands. So I had a place in a Hairland Harbors, two Clifftop Retreats, a Woodland Cemetery, a Black Cleave Cliffs. Got one Overgrown Tomb and one Godless Shrine, a Cascade Bluffs, and a Sunken Ruins. One Manamo School at Water's Edge, one Shizo Death Storehouse, one Dust Bowl. Uh, this is the heavily played uh, Bayou. Hold on, let me go ahead and take this out. All right, so this is a heavily played Bayou. Um, as you can see, the uh, border is still pretty white. Looks pretty good. The artwork, there's definitely whitening on the artwork, whitening on the uh, in the text box there, uh, just from play. But um, you know, the front looks pretty good. Maybe could pass for moderately played. But um, the card's definitely in heavily played condition. You can see the back is really where the uh, the grading uh, declines. Uh, so most of you probably already saw my previous trade binder. Still have this. I did get a lot of offers on this uh, this card. But I was really, I'm really trying to hold out um, to see if I can get some of the cards that I'm really after uh, for my legacy deck. But, um, you know, shoot me an offer on that. Uh, definitely willing to trade it. So anything's welcomed. Um, moving on, we got Near Mint, Bloodstained Mire. And the left Windswept Heath is Near Mint, and the right one is in slightly played condition. So two Windswept Heaths for trade. One Marsh Flats. And two Sarah Sanctum. The left one is near mint, and the right one is slightly played. Then we have a Foil Elspeth Knight Errant from Modern Masters. Foil Noble Hire Arc from Conflux. Two Phyrexian Metamorphs. A Standstill. A slightly played Gilded Drake. Bribery. And a slightly played Treachery. Bribery is from Mercadian Masks. Here is a foil near mint days. Then there's uh, two normal days and a Sakashima student. Here's a slightly played lotus petal, a slightly played sensei's divining top. Uh, it's just this white nick there up at the top. Uh, this is going to be a slightly played blight steel colossus and cloudstone curio. We have a slightly played pernicious deed, spirit monger, Vraska the unseen, and Garrick relentless. I have three Deathrite Shamans and a Genesis. Here's an Enchantress's Presence, an Oath of Druids, Scavenging Ooze from M14, and a Crater Hoof Behemoth. Lightning Helix, Olivia Valdarin, a Foil Azorius Charm, and Xur the Enchanter. Two Inquisition of Kozilek, the left one's near mint, the right one is slightly played. Here's a foil game day uh, promo full art killing wave and an oversold cemetery. New stuff from my fat pack. Got Elspeth, Sun, Sun's champion, up for trade. Thought Seize. This is a foil Ashen Rider. The very first pack of Theros that I opened up had an Ashen Rider and a Master of Waves in it. A uh, really sick pack to open. Then I got a Polochronos World Eater. Not the dual deck one. I like the artwork on this one a lot better. And here is that Master of Waves that I was talking about. So pretty good stuff that I've gotten from Theros. I've only opened 10 packs, and uh, <laughs> this is all that I've gotten. Here is Downfall, on the, is also for trade. Metamai, the Ageless, and Bow of Nylia. So yeah, 10 packs, and uh, you know, pulled all this stuff. Pretty sweet. Uh, two Rakdos's Returns. Two Tristanis, three Advent of the Worms, Legion's Initiative, Aetherlene, Foil, Sin Collector, Imposing Sovereign. Uh, we've got some Modern Masters stuff, Glenalandra, Kira, Tooth and Nail, Summoner's Pack, 
Tomb Stalker, Chalice of the Void, Grand Arbiter Augustine, Woodfall Primus, Maloku and Scion, a Death Cloud, Giora of the Gitu, Angel's Grace, Countryside Crusher, Dragon Storm. Here's some uncommons from there. Two Ewits, Paradise Mantle, Trigon Predator, Electrolyze, a Foil Kadama's Reach, a Foil Empty the Warrens. Here's just two randoms. Uh, it's a Foil Fiend Hunter and a Sleight of Hand from 7th edition. And there's an Unhinged Planes, three unglued planes near mint, and these two are slightly played. And then uh, three unglued forests and an unglued swamp, all in SP condition. Um, and then lastly, this was uh, my Enchantress deck. I'm breaking it down. I'm going to just try to you know see what I can get, if I can trade or sell. Like I said, I'm trying to put together a bug deck. If I can't put it together, I'm going to rock a junk deck. So I don't really need the Enchantress stuff anymore. But uh, Foil Sigil, uh, Words of War. I have a play set of Argothian Enchantress. It's a really sick card. Uh, play, another place. Here's a play set of um, Enchantress's Presence. So I guess there's five up for trade total. And then I've got a play set of Sterling Groves. Focus. Okay, got uh, three Karmic Justice. Very fun card. Uh, Solitary Confinement. I have a playset of this. Two Chokes from Tempest. A uh, playset of Utopia Sprawl. Playset of Wild Growth. Playset of Elephant Grass. Uh, to replenish. I mean, even if you guys are looking for some of these cards for like an EDH deck, um, or especially like a lot of the white ones will work for Zer. If you're into Zer, uh, three Oblivion Rings. Here's a uh, three Aura of Silence. And what else do we got? City of Solitude times. There's two in here. I've got a third one if you're really looking for a third one. There's a Lignify. And two Ground Seals. Alright, so there you have it. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.